to side with wildling invaders. We didn't invade. We were invited. Not by me. Free folk, the Northerners, and the Knights of the Vale fought bravely, fought together, and we won. My father used to say, we find our true friends on the battlefield. The Boltons are defeated. The war is over. Winter has come. If the Maesters are right, it'll be the coldest one in a thousand years. We should ride home and wait out the coming storms. The war is not over. And I promise you, friend, the true enemy won't wait out the storm. He brings the storm. Your son was butchered at the Red Wedding, Lord Mandley, but you refused the call. You swore allegiance to House Stark, Lord Glover, but in their hour of greatest need, you refused the call. And you, Lord Kerwin, your father was skinned alive by Ramsay Bolton. Still, you refused the call. But House Mormont remembers. The North remembers. We know no king but the king in the North whose name is Stark. I don't care if he's a bastard. Ned Stark's blood runs through his veins. He's my king from this day until his last day. Lady Mormont speaks harshly, and truly. My son died for Rob Stark, the young wolf. I didn't think we'd find another king in my lifetime. I didn't commit my men to your cause, because I didn't want more Mandalays dying for nothing. But I was wrong. Jon Snow avenged the Red Wedding. He is the White Wolf. The King in the North. I did not fight beside you on the field, and I will regret that until my dying day. A man can only admit when he was wrong and ask forgiveness. There's nothing to forgive, my lord. There will be more fights to come. House Glover will stand behind House Stark, as we have for a thousand years. And I will stand behind Jon Snow. The King in the North! The King in the North! Yeah!